Hey everybody, Chris here from the Protocase team. So when you're working on your next sheet metal design project, one of the first questions that you're gonna be asking yourself is, what is gonna be my material type? And the next question is how thick or thin does it need to be? So for today, we're gonna to go through the basics of material thickness and talk about what you should know when it comes to choosing the right thickness of metal for your next sheet metal design project. So you've got projects that you have to keep moving, and at Protocase, we aim to be your ultra-fast one-stop shop for custom manufacturing so that you don't have to waste time finding multiple vendors to get that fully finished part that you need. We offer many different options for choosing the right metal, and we even have a Proto Tech Tip walking you through the benefits of each metal that we stock. You can find the link to that video in the description below. Now, after choosing your metal, the selection of the correct gauge of sheet metal will be crucial in ensuring that the enclosure is going to meet the intended requirements. In order to fully understand which gauge of sheet metal is best for your upcoming design project, you should first ask yourself a few key questions. How price conscious is my project? Where will my enclosures or parts be stored, and will they need to withstand harsh environmental conditions? Is the weight of the enclosures or parts a crucial factor of the design? Now first, let's just simply look at the definition of a sheet metal gauge. The gauge of a piece of sheet metal is a crucial dimension and it's actually standardized across the industry. It determines the thickness of a metal sheet used. A lower gauge denotes a thicker piece of metal, and likewise a higher gauge means a thinner piece of metal. The gauge system exists primarily for the convenience of both the manufacturers and also the end users, as it provides a uniform language for the discussion of metal thickness. So at Protocase, we want you to understand your options for choosing the right metal gauge. For material options, you can select from aluminum, stainless steel, cold rolled steel, and copper to name a few. Now please note, while aluminum can be measured in gauges, more commonly it's actually measured in inches. Now this is likely due to the lack of a standardized gauge system for aluminum, which can make measurements less precise and potentially more confusing. Therefore, to make it easier for customers, we use gauges to determine the metal thicknesses for all of the metal that we offer. If you do take a look at our website, we have a full list of each stock material and the list of gauges from thinnest to thickest. Now here's a quick primer on a few of the most common gauge numbers and their typical uses. If we look at a gauge 11, this is typically used for heavy duty industrial equipment, durable military grade metal and very thick and robust. Now, if we're looking at gauges 16 to 18, this is a popular choice for electrical enclosures thanks to its balance of weight and strength and durability. If we're looking at gauge 25, this will offer sufficient protection without adding any significant amount of weight. So when it comes to choosing the right gauge for your application, there's also going to be several factors to consider. Material selection and compatibility. Different materials will require different thicknesses to achieve the same structural integrity. Now, for instance, aluminum, being less dense than steel, typically is going to need a thicker metal to match the strength of steel. Cost and budget considerations. Thicker gauges of metal will, in most cases, be more expensive. The raw materials that are going to be used and the process often needing specific tooling contributes to this. Now, consideration of the cost implications of your gauge selection is going to be essential, especially if you're looking at higher quantities. Balance, strength, and weight. Now, you may want to opt for the thinnest or thickest gauge that comfortably meets strength requirements, and reducing weight is often desirable, but you're going to not want to do it at the expense of any mechanical resilience or, more importantly, long-term functionality. Consider environment and application. The enclosure's environment can suggest a minimum gauge based on the necessity for protection against any various elements. For instance, outdoor enclosures often need to have thicker metal to withstand those potentially harsher conditions. Now, an important piece of information to note, especially if you are in the prototyping phase for your design project, and the enclosure is part of a product line that's expected to evolve with multiple iterations, choose a gauge that provides some wiggle room for design changes without having to completely re-engineer and manufacture another enclosure. To conclude, the sheet metal gauge selection for enclosures in any industry is a process that demands not only knowledge and experience, but sometimes a bit of intuition. It's not about selecting the thickest or thinnest material possible, but finding the correct balance of weight, cost, and flexibility that's going to align with your end application. 
Now, if you are having trouble figuring out the best gauge thickness for your next sheet metal design project, reach out to our account managers who are going to be here to help. Also, be sure to download our sheet metal design and motherboard-based system design guides. They're gonna help you out as well. So that's it for this week. Thanks everybody, and we'll see you back here again next week.